Hi everybody, Patrick here from EngineeringShock.com and ElectronicLessons.com. Uh, really short video today. Really, really short video for you today. Um, this I just received some reed switches in, uh, a few hundred of them, and I received them in by accident. I don't know what the specs are, but uh, I assume probably 10 to 20 volts at low current, uh, you know, with low current specs. So I would use them as a sensor with your uh, digital circuit, your PIC, your Arduino. I wouldn't use it to drive a relay, but anyway. Uh, as you can see, I've got my multimeter set for mega ohms. Um, I'm going to use my magnet pack to turn it on, or rather, uh, close the circuit. So let me just bring it in here. There you go. Uh, it's not a very strong magnet. I'm just going to pull it back. And there we go. Clo uh, it's open again. Closed. So it's a neat little circuit, or a neat little sensor. Uh, they're very inexpensive. Uh, I'll be selling them in lots of five for maybe five dollars. So if you're interested, uh, please uh, head on over to engineeringshock.com or electroniclessons.com. I'll make sure I'll have it up up uh, on the site soon. Now these are uh, uh, gold-plated glass uh, glass sealed, uh, and I believe they're 14 millimeters long. Now that's the body. And the leads are about the same size, about 14 millimeters long as well. Um, that's rough, roughly, but, but yeah. So you'll get five of those, five of those when you purchase one, and the leads can be bent nicely and put into a circuit board. So, really short video. Hope you found it semi semi entertaining. Hope maybe you learned something about reed switches. Uh, feel free to visit us at engineeringshot.com. Thanks, guys.